I've, I've been working with teenagers young, uh, since 2005. I was a youth pastor. I've always had a passion for young people because me, I was a young father. And so one of the things, I was raised in the church. I thought it was more religion than relationship. And so I started uh, ministering to the young men for maybe where I needed to be ministered to that they missed when I was a young man. When I first came, I only knew one person because uh, he had asked me to come with him. I didn't know what it was about. I didn't know nothing. I thought it was just something to get me out the house. So I started going for about two, three weeks. Miss Chico had got my number and I had got close with him like outside of the program. Like he used to take me places, sit me down, talk to me, stuff like that. But once I actually like start coming like consistently, like, it was actually helpful. Like as I was coming, like he was helping me along the way with everything that I needed help with. Being a, a former foster parent, my wife and I, we fostered for about 12 years and ended up adopting uh, three kids and all three of those are grown now, thank God. But what I found now uh, about children and teenagers that they are very resilient, that regardless of how things started for them, if they can find someone that's positive to be a part of their life, it does not have to be their biological parent. But if they can find someone who would love them, support them, believe in them, they can rise up out of pretty much anything. Because of the Janie Chapman offering, uh, we were able to do the outreach that we do. We do outreaches once a month uh, uh, with the young men. We give back to the community because we don't charge anybody anything. We don't even take donations. We just don't want to give back to teach these boys to serve. So uh, the Janie Chapman helped out so much with that. And also weekly. We, we're getting these guys every week, uh, feeding these guys on a weekly basis, and also they have needs outside of that. A uh, couple of guys been able to buy shoes for them as well. I had one young man who made the football team but didn't, wasn't able to get cleats and things like that they shouldn't have to worry about. I had one uh, guy needed a computer for school, was able to do that. So that helped out tremendously. Uh, from boys to men, Mr. Chico has been a father figure to everybody. He has helped everybody when they was needed. It had how Mr. Chico was get us out of trouble and just sit us down and talk to us. I ain't know how to say it at first, but Mr. Chico's a big part of my heart. And if that's gone on, no, I, I wouldn't know what I would have did with, without Mr. Chico.